Today we are going to learn how to animate the 3D model using React 3 Fiber and 3JS. This is a preview of our application. Let's jump into the code. Let me create a new folder R3F animation and then open it in my VS Code editor. To create our next JS application, we need to type npx create next app. I'm going to use the type in CSS, so I am giving the option S. Yes. After the installation is completed, we can do npm run dev to run up the application. Now we need to remove the boilerplate code present in our application. So I am going to the index.js file and then remove this code. And then I go to the CSS file also. And then remove the every code except the top 3 line which is helpful for the Tailwind CSS to work. Now I go to the browser and check whether every boilerplate code is gone or not. You can see every code is gone and then only the index div is there. Ok let's install the necessary package to run up the application. We need 3 packages which is react 3 fiber and then dry and then 3js. You can go to the npm package and download the 3 and then react 3 fiber also. and then the react 3 dry also I have provided the glb file and then the texture of the glb in the description you can go and download it I pasted it in the public folder ok instead of the index text here I create the canvas component from the react 3 fiber and let me add the class name width of 100 view width and the height of 100 view height you can see the canvas is taking the full height and full width so only we provided the full height and full width for the parent div and then we are going to create a component and then I will name it as character .js we need to convert the glb into the js code so we are going to use one website for that let me reveal it my folder and then let me open this is a website for converting the glb into G let me drag and drop the glb and it will automatically convert the glb into J js code let me copy it and paste it in somewhere else and then we and then let me copy the necessary code only and then we are going to copy this thing also preloading the glb ok after copy pasting the code from the website need to, we need to import the component in the index.js file ok let's view in the browser can see the user if is not defined and we need to import that too and the props is not defined yeah we need to remove that too we can see the glb is loaded but it's full of black so we need to add some lighting so let me add the lighting Go to the canvas and then add the lighting here ambient light light and directional light now we can see some lighting in the glb but the texture is not loaded we already have the texture in the public folder so we need to import the texture const texture equal to use texture
and then using my standard material we can inject the texture there you can see the texture is loaded but it is flipped in y axis uh, so i need to flip the uh, flip the image to prevent the flip of the texture let me add this property you can see the texture is correctly loaded in the glb let me add the orbit control for moving the camera so we can move the glb because of the orbit control okay while converting the glb into the js code uh, we also get the use animation and animation animation from the glb file and then we are referring to this group you can see that ref is equal to group and then we are getting the action let okay let's console log the actions you can see the object is there and we can see the multiple animation related to this glb goal file jump pocket react and then many more to run the animation let's create the use effect inside the use effect let's take the action object and then uh, get the property of uh, jump jump animation and then let me reset the animation initially to start up from the initial state and then fade in and then play the animation you can see the animation is playing let me create an all animation state in that state we are going to copy this animation name and then put it there so let me create it let's import the use state and then these are the all animation which are um, related to the glb file using this all animation state we are going to loop through this state and then we are going to render it as a button okay let me create a div with the class name of absolute top 0 right thread inside the div let me look through the all animation state You can see the all the buttons are displayed without any styling but it's all centered okay let me style the button okay okay we added the css to the button and then we need to handle the on click function also so let me create an another state to handle the current animation to get the current animation so current We, uh, we can make it as a default as uh, golf as a current animation state and then let me post to the character current animation name as a props let me destructure the state and then based upon the current animation name uh, changes we need to update the animation also let's check in the browser you can see the golf animation is playing but on the button click it will not work based upon the button click so we need to handle that also in the on click event
now we can see if we click the pocket it is go and it is trying to go into the pocket you can see the animation is not quite right because we didn't clean up the use effect we are running multiple animation at the same time so let's clean up the use effect in the character.js component to clean up the use effect let me create a return function and then action in the action let me get the current animation name and then fade out now we can see if i click the idle it is uh, the single animation is playing and if i click the jump the single animation is playing correctly thanks for watching my channel i hope video will be helpful for you please don't forget to like